really quick before we get started if you are blessed by this ministry if you're blessed by this platform anything that i bring to the table i ask you to partner with me via patreon go to patreon.com backslash truth seeker and you unlock rewards my entire discography of music webinars meditations weekly hangouts and so much more patreon.com backslash truth seeker go check it out won't you come come and take me into the Truth Seeker Podcast. Dark elves, psychics, everything's ungodly, dark savage. Streaming live at truthseeker.com. She's not a Christian. Give it up, y'all. Your portal to the paranormal, esoteric, and all things spiritual. She's tampering in dark savage stuff. And now, your host, Truth Seeker. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Truth Seeker Podcast. Excited for another episode. Today, my guest is Tom Palladino. Tom, welcome to the podcast, brother. How are you? All is well, and I thank you so much for the invite. Uh, it's going to be fun. going to be fun. We're going to uh, dive into um, healing, scalar energy, light frequencies, what's the difference, how to tap in, and uh, this... I'm going to dive into some of the equipment that you have behind you. I'm going to blow you. I'm going to go ahead and blow you up full screen here just so that people who are watching can see some of the stuff that you have behind you. But go ahead and introduce yourself and in, in your work and what you bring to the table. Uh, thank you. I, I am Tom Palladino. I am a scalar light researcher. By that, I mean I'm working with an energy outside of electricity and magnetism. Scalar light, scalar energy is the energy of the sun and the stars, and I have if you will, harness that energy. Behind me are scalar energy instruments, and I'll demonstrate their function today during our conversation. This is Tesla energy, what some people might call zero-point energy. And what, what uh, got you into this, uh, this energy looking into it? I was very much uh, curious about the work of Nikola Tesla. Tesla was, if you will, the, in my estimation, the founding father of quantum energy, zero-point energy, scalar energy. And I said to myself, there's so many benefits to be derived from this free energy. Why don't I study this? And I've made a career out of that. Here I am today, and I want to present to the world my discoveries, my, my what I consider to be groundbreaking achievements. Awesome. Can't wait to, to dive into some of this. Uh... Have you heard of, and I just want to get this off the bat just because it's, it's pretty big right now. Have you heard of Tartaria? No, sir. The no. ancient um, civilization where supposedly they had the uh, free energy technology and all of this kind of stuff that's in um, their, their books. And I think even in pictures and stuff like that. But supposedly it was the technology was suppressed from the people so that you couldn't harness free energy. You'd have to pay them for the free energy that they would allow you to have or whatever. So yeah, there's a whole thing on that movement of Tartaria. Definitely look into it. I didn't know if you had done any any uh, research on it, but I know there's people listening who who, who definitely w would want to ask that question off the bat. Oh, thank you. I will. Thank you. So so I mean, what what are some of the benefits? Are we talking about being able to to run uh, to power houses? Are we talking about to heal the body? What are, what are we talking about with with this energy? I consider it quantum healing, and I'll explain. I never work with people. I work with information. And the way I work with these instruments is with the photograph of a person. I'm going to hold up my photograph to demonstrate. My photograph has energy, scalar energy. So I don't work with people. I work with the force field or the energy field on a photograph. Everything is quantum, a quantum force field. I can actually place my photograph inside the instrument and achieve a chakra balancing. So the energy on my photograph is my character. It reports to me. In other words, I bilocate through this instrument. This is what I've discovered with the scalar energy force field. You can be at two places at once. 
I never work with people. I work with their energetic copy, their quantum copy, which is their photograph. This is uh, this, this is diving right into you know my, my research of the science of this stuff, and I think it's just proven it. But this is something I'll hold up. This is a uh, icon of a Catholic saint, and so this the the idea of drawing a picture, having the likeness to be able to access his energy that he carried to communicate with him, get information, ask for assistance, those kind of things. It sounds that maybe this could be some type of the, the, you know, the science behind that spirituality, if you will. It is. This is prayer. This is consciousness. This is thought. I think that was St. Charbel, am I correct? Uh, yeah. that, that one's St. Anthony of Egypt, but a lot of them, you know, a lot of the uh, depictions look the same. Okay. Fair enough. So what are we getting at? We're working now in the quantum field, the realm of spirit. Everything I do is non-physical which is prayer, thought, consciousness. This instrument is non, controls non-physical energy, which is consciousness. So now we're at the very, if you will, real work of nature. We are in command of intelligence, of consciousness. What do I mean? Well, if I take this light bulb and I pass it by the instrument, there's so much energy, it illuminates the light bulb. So that's an intelligence field. That's the energy coming off the instrument. So working with this energy, we experience not only light, but we also experience healing. We experience illumination, both illumination of light bulbs and the illumination of the mind. This is the consciousness era. This is the era of quantum. It's all non-physical. Now, is this is this? good energy is it is it positive is it it almost seems like you're describing like does it is it is it only good does it does it does it balance you like back into yes. this homeostasis of of how you were created or something like that is that am i getting too woo woo or is this precisely precisely why it's the energy of the sun and the stars it's natural energy so we we are living now with nature's energy not man-made energy this is not electricity so we're going back to creation. We're going back to nature in which this energy will balance us or rebalance us or, or run, once again bring us to homeostasis, the point of singularity, the point of perfection. You're absolutely right. So everything I do, I'm working with nature, the forces of nature. These are instruments that control sun energy or stellar energy. I am working with the seven chakras. If I can balance the seven chakras with this instrument, that would, what is to be construed as a, a benefit to us, a psychological benefit, perhaps. Working with natural energy to, if you will, download nutrients, the energy of nutrients. All of that is by way of this beneficial energy, the energy of the sun and the stars. There's no downside. There's no downside because there's no negative consequence. Why do I say that? We're not working with chemicals. We're not working with physical reality. We're working with intelligence, consciousness. Is this uh, similar to um, the positive and negatively charged ions that are in the atmosphere that are, that are free energy? Is that a different type of energy? Different type. That's a different type. You're describing something of an electromagnetic uh, system. Okay. So let me make this clear. Let's take the example of Nikola Tesla. Tesla developed AC electricity. He's the father of AC electricity. Later in his life, Tesla was no longer interested in electricity. He was developing free energy instruments like this in which he could harness scalar energy. There's two energies, electricity, electromagnetic energy, and scalar energy. Tesla, I believe, had his preference with scalar energy because it's much easier to use, what he called radiant energy. That's my preference. Now, today, we see that electromagnetic energy predominates. But in the future, if the world realizes that scalar energy is free, there's no pollution, there's no carbon footprint, it's easy to administer, it's, it's safe, it's not dangerous, then eventually we'll start making that transition from an electrical paradigm to a scalar energy paradigm. What, what other types of, of energy um, are we talking about? Because I just want to see, because we hear a lot, you know, we hear about um, 
the energy of the um, etheric realm. Is this is this is this the same thing, or is this there's yeah. there's talks of um, organite energy as well? Yeah. That's this free energy that's out there. Is all of this the same thing? Just different different words and different ways to work with it. I think that's accurate. I think that's accurate. What, what some people might call orgone energy. Wilhelm Reich discovered orgone energy. He was able to tap that energy from the atmosphere, which is from the sun and the stars. Quantum energy, some people call it pyramid energy, others call it chi prana. So we now realize that there's another form of energy, not just electricity and magnetism. And this other form of energy is really pretty simple to use. It is unlimited. So what's the point here? Why not use unlimited energy? Why go to the expense and to the danger to incur danger in extracting fossil fuels? How do you how do you collect it? You seem to have a little device there. Is there a huge antenna somewhere that you're gathering it from? A lightning rod, you know, a li uh, lightning bolt hits it, and you harness the energy <laughs> in this little battery device. How 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 are you collecting it? Uh, my my predecessor Hieronymus was the initial man who developed these instruments. We take just AC electricity and we convert it into scalar. But once we convert it into scalar, the gain is a thousandfold, ten thousandfold. Meaning what? Once we have a scalar wave established, we can do anything with these instruments. I can send this energy to the moon if you want. And once again, demonstrate to the audience, these free energy instruments will illuminate a light bulb in my hand. Okay? That's the free energy that I speak of. Now, I could put a million light bulbs close to this instrument. And that's not toxic that's, by any means. No, no, sir. Very good. It's all non-physical instruction. So this is the new way of doing things. Now, by the way, I don't have to build an infrastructure. The, the universe, the ether, if you will, the ether is the infrastructure. Later in his day, Tesla was developing instruments that were working exclusively with ether. There was no power plant. There was no substation. There were no wires. Everything was done through the atmosphere, through the ether. Imagine how simple and inexpensive and easy this will be. Well, that's the thing with the with the uh, Tartarian Empire that that people are talking about is that you see all of these different um, you see you see power power poles and telephone poles, but there's no wires anywhere. There's just these receivers, you know, yes. up there. So, and you talk about not having to run wires and those kind of things just caught out of the atmosphere. That's, you're absolutely right. So, where are we going with this? This is a new way of living. As a humanitarian, I want to show the world that this is a better way. The way we're doing it now with fossil fuels, with nuclear, with wind farms, that, that's what we have to do right now. That's, that's our paradigm. That's our state of technology. In the future, if we can harness the energy of the sun and the stars, we will solve so many problems. We'll change the world. So is this the energy of light? So there's there's lots of I've got books and a lot of writings and stuff on light energy and color healing and things like this. Would this fall in the same categories? Yes, it would. Being yes, able to would. capture the sunlight, but then change the color as needed to a specific yes. need. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. To answer your question, yes, and I'll elaborate upon that. I'm going to show the audience a photograph of riboflavin. This is a source of light. It's a photograph. I can actually take this instrument and download that source of light into me, into my quantum field. What do I mean? I place my photograph side by side, this photograph of the vitamin. So we are working with sound, with light. We're working with intelligence. It's not a chemical. And the photograph of riboflavin is downloaded into my photograph. That's the new science of scalar energy in which we bypass the physical dimension. None of my work is in the physical dimension. All of it is non-physical. But they have physical effects. Yes. Uh, well, apparently they do. Yes. I can't prove that, but yes, mm -hmm. you're right. Um, so, so what are some of the um, experiments? I mean, you just took a light bulb and lit it up. What, what are some of the other experiments that, that you can do that, that, you know, that, that other people can do, try through your work through your website, but um, also what, what were some of the experiments that convinced you as well? 
when I read about Tess, I, I saw his work, even though I never witnessed one of his instruments. And then I had the good fortune to meet an American family by the name of Hieronymus that were selling these instruments. And I purchased these instruments back in 93 and 94. I started to work with scatter energy instruments. And what I discovered is that these instruments can form matter, rearrange matter, or break apart matter. Form or break apart. So what, what have I developed? I've developed a technique in which I can take photographs of microbes and I can break down the microbe. I can disassemble the microbe. So I can break apart what's harmful or I can form, I can assemble what's beneficial, such as a vitamin. So the instrument can, has a dual function, to break down, to produce a state of chaos, what is harmful, a toxin, a pathogen, or to create with this inward force, rearrange a vitamin, a mineral, an antioxidant. So this gives us, if you will, consummate control over the world, over the physical universe, to create what we want, to break apart what's harmful. Have you heard the name um, Trevor James Constable? Yes, I have. Really? I'm infatuated with his work. Um, yes. Got all of his books ordered, got all of his PDFs. But he, he mentioned meeting a man um, that he worked with who had the ability to create matter out of thin air and have objects appear. And, and when you're talking about the science of this spirituality or whatever you want to call it, um, it sounds very similar to what, what you're talking about. Yes. L let me be clear. Trevor James Constable was able to create rain. Now, how do you do that? Well, in the atmosphere, you have an abundance of hydrogen and oxygen. And Trevor James Constable had etheric instruments that he could project this intelligence into the atmosphere so that hydrogen and oxygen would form into water. He, he duplicated that experiment hundreds of times. So you can, with ether energy or scatter energy, take hydrogen and oxygen, combine it into water, the water molecule, and produce rain. Trevor James Constable demonstrated that. He's no longer with us. But as you're talking, his likeness, his books, his memory, he's still with us to, to a degree if we want to kind of tap in and, and pick up his work kind of thing. Is that, and I mean, that's a big part of, you know, my research, and again, with the, the icons and going back to ancient Egypt or any ancient religion that, talk, that talked about that their energy is in this, yeah. it, it, it's become one with the sun, if you will, to, yeah. to tap into that. And I'm very intrigued by that, by that as well. Thank you. Thank you. So what's the point here? It's been demonstrated that scalar energy, ether energy, zero point energy can control matter. Once again, we're going to create what we want, and we're going to break apart what we don't want. You don't do that with chemical processes. You don't do that with explosives. You do that with implosive, implosive scalar energy, non-physical instructions. Do you have to have a machine to do this, or is this something that we're able to harness or have a certain amount of that energy present with us through receivers in our body, if you will? God gave everybody two incredible scalar energy vessels, the mind and the heart. If you ever look at the mind and the heart, the brain and the heart, how do they function? They function by scalar intelligence, by ether intelligence. How, is it, well, how can I think? It has to be some type of scalar wave. What gives, me, what gives me to my heart or my emotions? It has to be scalar energy. So in other words, the intelligence that powers our mind and powers our heart, it's from the cosmos. It's scalar energy. We are scalar energy beings. That's the image of God that we have. What, what would this, this process look like when we're talking about um, how the average everyday person can, can interact with the energy to, uh, again, we, you know, I, I mentioned, you know, uh, bring electricity to their house, uh, balance their chakras, you know, if they're dealing with depression, how, I mean, how, how can it produce these results for them where they can feel it to say, you know what, there's something, there's something to this? Yeah. Um, I offer people on my website 15 days of free session. All you do is 
send us, once again, you're going to email us a photograph. We only work with photographs, which is the quantum field. So email us your photograph, and for 15 days, we'll balance your chakras. We'll deliver nutrients, if you will. We'll, if you will, assemble nutrients in the quantum field and then eradicate germs, microbes. And by doing that for 15 days, most people feel better. And then people prove to themselves there's some merit here, that there is quantum energy, that there is intelligence behind it. energy, and that for some reason they have a zest for life, or they know they have some type of bacteria to prove that to themselves. And what's the process for you? Is, is it just putting their, their images or two different images and kind of making that connection here by the That's device? It. That's it. It's that simple. Why? Because I don't want to override this, this intelligence. This intelligence is from God. So if I wanted to create a nutrient, I would take my photograph and match it up with the nutrient. That's all you do. The energy communicates riboflavin with me. It's an energy system. It's a communication system. It's not a chemical process. This is alchemy. This is transmutation in which the photograph of the vitamin is downloaded into my photograph. That's quantum alchemy. There's a lot of people, I guess myself included, now just talking about this, where you know, you would you would just take that that uh, modality, take the two pictures, put them together, time, energy, emotion, the thing's gonna happen. You have a dream, a vision, write it down, put some energy into it, okay. And, and there's a lot of people who are having success with that, but it's not 100%. You know, foolproof. It doesn't always work. So what's the deal with just doing that by itself, just like you did, versus putting it by the machine and, 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 you know, tapping into the energy or whatever with those images. You know, I, you're right. People with faith, they can, they can download a vitamin if they want with faith. Some people prefer just to send me a photograph so that I can do this 24 hours a day. So in other words, this is a consciousness instrument. And by no means do I think this instrument should uh, replace, be a substitute for the mind or the heart. What I'm trying to prove is by way of scientific engineered instruments, a scientific process, I can reproduce the mind or the heart. And that's what I've done. If, if the, the mind and the heart operate on scalar waves, so can this instrument. Now, if I can do that with an instrument, people have a greater capacity with their mind and their heart. That's one of the lessons here. Can you feel this energy? Oh, yeah. I feel it on my back right now. There's a tremendous amount of energy right now. And is it, so do you, do you feel like you're absorbing it with it close to you like that? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Is this something also that you can learn as you, maybe you go out in the sun, you feel when it's, you know, more present on certain days or something like that or closer to you? That's correct. That's correct. Make no equivocation. This energy is found in the center of the sun. Scale energy is the driving force of all stellar activity. And whether it's we go outside in, in the middle of the day when the sun is bright or, or some night when the stars are out, we feel that energy. Whether, whether you perceive it or not, that energy is, is always there. It's omnipresent. The key is this. Energy is fundamental. Nothing can stop its progression. Let me show your audience a, an example of what I mean. If I hold this wooden board close to the instrument, that wooden board does not present an impediment to the energy. That wooden board will not prevent a light bulb from being illuminated. So nothing can stop scalar energy. But it's the idea of harnessing it, right? That's correct. That's correct. The key is the, the instrumentation, the engineered instruments that I have. I've been able to engineer this, in, this energy, yes. Is this something that, that you're looking to, um, to sell as well to, to get out there to, in, into more hands? I, would, I don't want to sell the instruments because I don't want it to fall into the wrong hands. I am willing to, to share my knowledge with those who are interested in, and bring healing to the world. And this is what I envision. I am able, with this instrument, I am able to work with millions of photographs on a daily basis. Today, earlier in my laboratory, I was working with half a million photographs. 
So we can easily scale this project. The photograph can be miniaturized and you can place the photograph inside the instrument. This is what I envision. Quantum healing, informational healing through a photograph. Wow. What are some, so if somebody wanted a real time example, obviously you're showing us with that, with, with, with the uh, light bulb and you're, you can feel it, those kind of things. Um, could, could someone, could someone f feel it? Like if they're with you, like on a session or something? I know you say you don't work with people directly. You, you work with the, with the, the pictures, but with this, you know, 15 day kind of turnaround within that scale, is there any of it that, that works instantly just like the light bulb turns on instantly usually within the first day people report that their dream state is enhanced that they sleep a very deep meaningful sleep so apparently on day one their chakras and their their brain waves have been influenced and we're getting back to the point of homeostasis so that people can sleep well people have a elated feeling they have a feeling of euphoria others tell me that they they no longer procrastinate or that their depression is lifted. Now, all of that by way of an instrument, well, it's the animating force that's obviously working upon their psyche, their, their brain waves, their seven chakras, their meridian system. Pure information, pure intelligence, no chemicals involved, hence we go straight to the cause. Mm. Mm. So, 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 where, so where do we go with this? What's, I mean, where do we go next with the interview? I mean, you know, I'm just, you know, what, what, you know, what, what else do you have to bring to the table? Cause I'm, I mean, I'm already intrigued. This is, this is, you know, that's what I live for. So, I mean, what, what else do you have? Yeah. Well, what I want to, to do with the audience is to ask them to sign up for a 15 day session. And the reason I do that, it's free. I have to prove this to mankind. First, I'm going to start with quantum healing energy healing through the quantum field, the photograph once again. And once I prove that to the world, then hopefully God will give me the wisdom and I'll use this energy to illuminate objects at a distance. So first we start with people, quantum healing, but eventually we're going to find our way into the energy reproduction, energy distribution, and we're going to illuminate the world with scalar energy. No longer coal or, or natural gas or windmills, we're going to use the free energy of the sun and the stars. This is a step-by-step -step process. So we have to take those necessary steps to find our way down this, this continuum, if you will, of perfection. Um, you've, so I, I know we got to be careful what we say about the different programs, you know, as far as uh, people own these terms, you know, they're, 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 there's terms that are copyrighted that you can't say, but you can, but you can talk about the body part that kind of treat those areas and things like that. Um, right. people who have, um, digestive issues and, and things like that, you're, you're, you, you've been able to, uh, help, help treat, the, treat those people as well. Many people. And I'll, I'll tell you why it's corrective energy. I believe this energy co will correct their digestive intelligence. It's not a chemical. So we're not putting chemicals or massage. There's nothing physical here. So by, if you will, distributing, administering intelligence, that in and of itself corrects the digestive system, corrects the metabolism. Make this very clear. I'm not a medical professional. The energy is the animating force. The energy is corrective. How much energy would it take to um, power a, a house? That's a good point. I, I can't make a, an exact comparison because this is not wattage. This is not voltage. I will say this. It's probably 100 times less expensive, maybe 1,000 times less expensive to use scalar energy as that of the electromagnetic grid. First of all, the energy is free. Secondly, you don't need wire or conduit. You just send the energy out or you have this energy power of a refrigerator or a toaster. So once we make that shift from electromagnetic energy to scalar energy, we'll have to have new appliances that are running on scalar energy. It will be much easier, safer, much less expensive, inexpensive. And then we assure ourselves of no pollutants. There's no chemicals involved. 
Are you aware of um, the Egyptians um, knowing about any of this stuff? We, we look at the pyramid and they talk about being able to channel energy that way. And then there's, there's theories that they were able to, um, you know, illuminate objects through vibration, through frequency and harness th this type of energy. And obviously they were obsessed with the sun. Many pyramids are today that, that we've recognized them, even though they were built thousands of years ago, many pyramids today have stood the test of time. Those pyramids have been proven to be scalar energy batteries or receptacles. Even the pyramids in Cheops in, in outside of uh, Cairo, Egypt. Those pyramids capture scalar energy. They harness scalar energy. Those are gigantic scalar energy batteries. Um, with with working with people, um, you know, whether it's weight loss or um, getting getting blockages out the way, you know, removing blocks, whatever it is, you know, people talk about procrastinating and things like that. Um, if somebody was wanting to will something to happen, like uh, tap into their dreams or they wanted to manifest something, that's a big word that you hear now, manifestation. Does it work with that? And and is it again with it being clean and good energy does it does it have to be in alignment with the perfect will for their lives versus trying to um you know place their will on others and make other people do things that they don't want to do which seems okay. like it's what's already happening on a larger scale to the world's population to be honest with you you're right this energy, I believe, has a divine character. I believe God created this energy. This is God's light. And with that, it should be used for appropriate means but to help people. So when used appropriately, it, it can only help. Now, there's been talk about weaponizing this type of energy. I, I have nothing to do with that. I've obviously never developed any type of instrumentation as such. But to be very clear, energy... It's fundamental. You could use it for fundamental good or fundamental evil. Hmm. Which is everything, right? Yes, that's the key. Hmm. I've always said this. With great technology comes great responsibility. Great technology must be matched by great morality. Yeah, I think that comes into to play with the AI and technology now. And uh, there's a lot of people who are scared to death of it. There's a lot of people... They only see the bad. They, they, they don't see the good. I think that just like this technology that, that you're talking about, AI and all technology, a hammer even, um, yes. in, in, in the hands of a, a, a good person, a, a, a well-meaning person, they're going to use it to help. Yes. Yes, you're absolutely right. And I, I concur with that. So we have to use technology appropriately. Even a hammer can be used for good or evil. What's the purpose of my work? To introduce this energy to mankind. Tessa did his best. Now I'm doing my best. This energy is real. These instruments are real. These are functioning quantum instruments. Chi, prana, consciousness, zero point energy, call it what you will. Why do I do this? Because technology can benefit the world. As a humanitarian, that's what I'm trying to do. Bring benefit to mankind. It's interesting you say that because that's exactly what I was thinking about. The chi, the, the, the prana, um, some would say Holy Spirit. There's, you know, depending on where you go, they have a different name for, for this beautiful energy that is a, a healing frequency, if you will, that resides within the human body that can be amplified or you can have more added to you. And a lot of times that energy comes with the feeling that you talk about this blissful, euphoric feeling I, I feel like you know in churches with faith and people tapping into that um that energy and, and receiving healings and blessings and things like that but um talking about the chi and the, and the uh, prana um just reading a book last week where they they talked about the uh, uh just regular um interaction with it and building it and and, and knowing that it, it's there and breathing it in kind of thing um it's almost like a fountain of, uh, of youth. People, uh, you know, life coming back to people. People look like they're, uh, you know, getting younger and things. Yes, you're right. You're right. I feel that this has helped me, uh, if you will, sustain or prolong my life. I'm 63 years of age, and I believe this has helped me tremendously. 
uh, achieving uh, 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 my, what I consider robust health. Um, I'm very much interested. I'm going to check out the website. And, um, and I know you said you had a, a, a free gift for the listeners yeah. that they can have a free 15-day trial to go check it out. Yeah, that's right. In order to prove this, I have to demonstrate this to people. How do I do that? I give away 15 days of free session. So this is the website, scalarlight.com. That is spelled S-C-A-L-A-R, light, L-I-G-H-T. Scalarlight.com. Anybody in the world can sign up. We'll work with you for free for 15 days. Balance your chakra. We'll produce, if you will, nutrients by way of quantum alchemy. And we'll eradicate germs, viruses, and fungi, and parasites. We do all of that on a daily basis. And then we allow people to decide the merit, the benefits that they have derived from this session. And if they want to keep moving forward with it. That's correct, yes. Awesome. And you also said you had a you had a, a surprise for me at, at the end as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and that surprise is I, I, I want to work with you moving forward. If, if you will have me go on this uh, program for maybe a month or two and then bring me back and let's talk about your experience. Let's let's see how you experience this and what the benefits, if any. I want to present this to your audience of before and after. Awesome. So a uh, real-time example. Yes. Why not? Proof is in the pudding. That's it. That's it. Tom, it's great to meet you. Thanks for coming on. And uh, man, I like I said, this is this is right up my alley with, with my study on so many levels. It, it connects so many dots, I believe. And, and I think it will for many people too. So guys, go check out the website. It's scalarlight.com. That's right. Scalarlight.com. Thank you for coming on time. Enjoyed it, brother. Okay. Thank you for your time.